My friends, the hands with which we touch, the feet with which we walk, the tongue that does the talking, the mouth with which we eat, the ears with which we hear, the eyes with which we see. Look at these countless blessings of Allah. You know, this, we, we've taken them for granted. This is why we don't value them. You know, if at the, in this gathering here and now, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was to take just one of his blessings, I swear by Allah, this is when you and I will realize the blessing of Allah. You're talking to me at this moment, I'm, I'm talking to you, you're listening to me. The thought has never crossed your mind, or my mind for that sake, that Allah can take away these blessings. You haven't prepared for this. This thought did not come, your, come to your mind before you came in this gathering. You're looking at me, I'm looking at you, and you know what? Whilst you're looking at me and I'm looking at you, all of a sudden, Allah's taken away your eyesight. Now, there's totalless darkness in front of you. What do you think will happen? What do you think, my young friend? See if you can ponder this in your mind's eye. You're in this gathering at this moment in time. You're listening to what I'm saying. You're looking at me and all of a sudden, you cannot see me. You know what will happen? You will quickly open your eyes again. Okay, what's happened? To see if I can see. But again, you know, no, it's darkness. Now what you'll do is, you'll start looking to your right. Is the darkness just at the front? So you look to the right, and now you're panicking. You're sweating. You know, you haven't uttered anything to anyone. You begin to look to your right. It's darkness again. You look into your left. There's darkness again. Now, my friend, you will feel in a manner like you never felt in your entire life. You will begin to panic. You know, water will literally drip from your body. body. I swear by Allah, you know, within a zillionth of a second from a totally independent person, you came in this gathering not even thinking this, not even imagining this. You were the biggest out of the big. Do you understand? From a totally independent person, you will leave as a totally dependent one. Never mind getting outside to your home. I swear by Allah, you will not be able to leave this gathering without the assistance and help of your Muslim brother. And now, now, you know, if you were a multi-billionaire and you possessed a billion dollars and this thing called eyesight was sold on the market, I'm prepared to swear by Allah that you will, sp sense, you will spend your billions just so that you can buy one blessing which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you. In comparison to this eyesight, you know the billions that are in your account will be meaningless. Look at Allah, how Allah showered us with blessings. This is why Allah will say, I gave him everything. I gave him blessings upon blessings. You never asked for them. Tell me my young friend, when was the last time you ever raised your hand and you thanked Allah for these eyes? When was the last time you ever raised your hand and you thanked Allah for all these blessings that he gave you? My friends, you didn't ask for them, but you know what? He was the Arhamul Rahimeen, the Akramul Akrameen, the Ajwadul Ajwadeen. Without you asking, without you begging, without you prostration, prostrating, he would give, he would give, he would give, and he would watch you turning your back on him, becoming bl blind and deaf to his teachings. You had time for everything. You had time to watch the uh, Liverpool game. You had time to go and chill with your friends. You had time to wine and dine. But the only thing and being that you didn't have time for, for the one that gave you these zillions and zillions of blessings. And he weighed. He allowed you to make Toba. Because he accepts Toba. He embraces those that turn to him. Till when? Before the soul comes out of your body. He was waiting patiently. Maybe Abdullah today will embrace me. Indeed, he's lived, lived 99 years of sin. Maybe today he will embrace, he, embrace me. Maybe today he will turn to me. But Abdullah didn't. He was still arrogant. Right till death do his part. Allah will say, now bring him. His time's come to an end. He lived a life of sin. He didn't believe. He rejected. Bring him to me today and I will punish him like none other. على مر الزمان تألقا وأضاء للدنيا طريقا مشرقا وهدى من الرحمن يهدينا به للصالحات وللمكارم والتقى